Hi, Scottish Mud Larkin here with Nicole and Craig. Today we're doing something a wee bit different. We've come along to a place we've never filmed in before. We've come along to our broth, and we're here to see if we can find some blue willow pattern pottery. Now I saw something here just a second ago. Actually, there's a couple of things that are quite cool. Okay. There's a wee, there's some agates. Tiny, tiny ones. Right, yeah. Really quite pretty. Mm -hmm. There's another one just over here. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> there we are. Yeah. And sea glass. Oh, yeah. Can you see the sea glass? <laughs> it's so tiny. It really is, yeah. I think that's even too small for our nests. Look, really? It's so tiny. Yeah. It really is, isn't it? <laughs> well, let's hope we do a wee bit better than that. Yeah. I'm going to take a wee scan across this area. Mm -hmm. um, I think. This is the closest that I can see to maybe like a, a kind of breaker area where the waves are breaking and we're getting that little pile up of uh, stones and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I can now, see one piece of sea glass. You do? Ah. I see one as well. Oh, okay, Just no, there. no, no, that's a quartz. Is it? Uh-huh. Okay, I'm going to have to really check my glasses, <laughs> see if my, my prescription's up to date. Okay. Uh, it's here, it's here. Okay. Look. Yeah. And that's a nice wee bit as well. Yeah, it yeah. It looks really frosted. It's nicely frosted, yeah. So I think that's a really good uh, start for for our broth. I think to say that that's a really good start <laughs> is uh, maybe stretching it a wee bit. It's it's a start for sure. Yeah. Do you know, grab that. There's one. another one just up here. Where is it? A wee green bit there, oh, yeah. and there's a wee bit of a uh, clear oh, there. there yeah. Now these are super tiny wee pieces of sea glass oh, just now. Ah, yeah, yeah. So hopefully. We're going to find something a wee bit chunkier yeah. and something a wee bit more like pottery as well. Yeah, some blue and white pottery, that would be nice. Okay. Uh, well, we're going to keep scanning. Okay, let's see what else is here. Ah, oh, there's a piece of sequins, look. look oh, that's look, actually sort of like kind of a wee bit it's usable, it isn't it? Well, look. Hang on, hang on, one thing at a time. <laughs> I think that's probably quartz or something like that, isn't hmm. it? What do you reckon? I'm not sure. It kind of looks a bit glassy. Yeah. Let's take this one and we'll take that bigger piece of uh, glass there. There's actually two pieces, unless this is also quartz. I think there's that, that might be quartz as well. Yeah, yeah. There's some beautiful crystalline things on this beach, actually. We might want to take a wee look at these. Yeah, they really are. They're really tiny and small and super but smooth. That's the sea glass bit. Oh, oh. yeah. Well, yeah, that's and that's nice. okay, it's a wee heart shape as well. Yeah, yeah, that'll go somewhere. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Yeah, do you know, I mean, I think that one of the things so far is the, yeah, all the quartz and crystals, there's agates, the agates, agates here, they're okay. everywhere. That's now, I nice. didn't think we would find these things up here. Now, Nicole's just pointed something out. Now, I don't know if you can see it or not. <laughs> um, it's more or less in the middle of the screen. It's a little piece of sea foam sea glass. Do you think that's sea foam or is that yeah. grey? Mm, it could be grey. It's definitely not white. Okay, let's have that. It looks kind of bluish, doesn't it? So it's kind of sea foamy. Yeah, I think it's sea foam. Well, so far we're finding little bits of glass. And I think in this area here, we should find uh, we should find quite quite a few pieces, I reckon. Yeah, maybe bigger pieces because the stones actually, are bigger. Yeah, I've actually just spotted two pieces. Okay. Um, we'll start off with one of them and ask, can you see it? Well, I can. You so, can't. No. Okay. The clue is it's green. Okay. I think we're going to be finding a lot of green here. Oh. Oh yeah. You see that's it now. Nice. Yeah, yeah. That's it's quite a nice really shade nice of green, isn't it? Isn't it? It's a kind of, yeah, it's, a, it's a, almost lime green. Just there, if you haven't seen it yet. Mm -hmm. That is very nice. Shall I take it out? Oh, that's perfect. I've just found a really, really nice mermaid's tear. Let's have a look at it. So, normally, you know, I mean... <laughs> It's normally a straight down view that I do when it's a can you see it, but this one's a wee bit sneaky. Did you do but a hopefully, <laughs> uh, the sunlight is uh, a wee bit of a helping hand here. Yeah, it looks like it's just shining on the piece, isn't it? It does. Mm -hmm. Right, so I'm going to walk up here. We can see some doggy footprints. 
doggies have been here before us, but they've left this sea glass behind. Yeah. Clearly have no interest in sea glass. <laughs> now there's that piece. Mm -hmm. It's not that piece. No, no, no. That's not the piece we were looking for. <laughs> the piece is just up here. Yeah. And, and it is actually quite beautiful, isn't it? It's yeah. a really nice shape. It's a real perfect mermaid's tear. It's a teardrop shape and it's sea foam. It's just like a mermaid would leave it at the beach. Tiny piece of green, slightly bigger piece of uh, it's like clear glass here. The glass is all really small, very, very, very well frosted. Um, <laughs> but yeah, really small. Now, there's the second mermaid's tear. I don't think it's a good enough match for the first one, just in here next to this wee agate thing, but really beautiful. It looks like it might have actually been the bottom of a very small bottle. It has a wee crease, wee crease line in there. So I wonder, am I looking at uh, the bottom of a very old uh, wee medicinal bottle or something like that? Okay. Oh, that's lovely. It's again though, it's just tiny tiniest wee piece of glass but beautifully frosted really lovely colour but <laughs> I'm not sure what we can do with them we're going to take it though because it's very pretty now I saw a brown piece around here a minute ago and yeah brown gets a really hard time nobody loves brown I kind of do I think it's really nice it's gone though lost forever Maybe it was an agate. Tiny wee bit of green again. It's definitely a beach for tiny, tiny pieces. I just keep looking along this wee stretch. Oh, there in the cold shadow. Oh, I don't think I'm going to find any more down here. So what I'm going to do if you can see here we're on a stretch of beach where there's all these tiny wee stones oh. so we're going to have a wee search between the stones here and uh, see if we get any uh, any luck there's another wee green bit can you see it? no green, you can't green, see green. it green 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 straight in front of the oh, camera yeah, here yeah. Yeah, okay, just, grab that. just right there. That's yeah. the one. <laughs> Lovely. So, all I've been finding so far are these tiny, tiny wee pieces of uh, of sea glass. They're really pretty, but they're very, very small. Not sure what we can do with them. Have you been having any better luck than me? No, so far I've also been finding tiny pieces of sea glass, but what I really want to find is a piece of the blue willow pattern because there's such a romantic story attached to it and this film is coming out right about Valentine's Day. <laughs> so we're going to make our way towards that end of the beach because the sun's behind us and it'll probably or hopefully light up some glass and I'm going to tell you five facts about the blue willow pattern you didn't know. spotted something here and it definitely doesn't look like it's stone just this piece here oh it's 
quite a big chunk of pottery that piece. What do you make of that? Yeah, I found the first piece of pottery. No blue willow pattern <laughs> oh. on it though. It's very heavy, very chunky. <laughs> yeah. How could it be? Oh, I don't know. It kind of it's reminds glazed. me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You think in a lavatory? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say insulator or some sort, but yeah, I think you're probably right. Okay, well, we'll leave that uh -huh. here then. Well, but it's pottery, you know. Okay, so I, I think yeah, I think we may be right. It could be, it could be a, an undesirable piece, shall we say? <laughs> yeah, but there is a piece of green sea glass just along from you, so it's just there. See it? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I can actually. Okay. Just it's my... quite uh, quite dark. Do you know the contrast because of the sun? is shining on these stones. Uh, it's making everything look a wee bit black and white, at least ah. through this monitor, at ah, least. Right. You can point that out again, please. Yeah, that's just there. Okay, that's yeah. actually quite chunky. Yeah. So what we're finding on this uh -huh. beach, uh, that's actually quite a chunky piece. Yeah, yeah. Quite a nice piece. Yeah. Can't see it at all in this light, though. There we go. Oh, oh that's excellent. Now it's got yeah. a wee bit of sun on it. It's like a, like an emerald green. Totally different from what we found in uh, Petit Bay, though. Yeah, yeah, we found these. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. There's some stunning glass down there in Petit Bay. Yeah. Let's have that. That could even be heart shaped. You know, in fact, just a second. Oh. Let me let me have a look at it over the top there. It's a wee heart. Yeah, yeah. That's in keeping with our Valentine's Day video, folks. <laughs> so many really pretty wee pebbles here. The odd piece of sea glass. Oh, hang on, let's get this lens sorted out. So that is just such a gorgeous colour. For that eye gate there. Really lovely colour. Now there's a wee piece of sea glass just in front of that. And it looks to be yellow, which, uh, <laughs> as Nicole keeps reminding me, probably means it's green or was green, either that or maybe brown. Hey, can you see that? It's a tiny wee bit, it's just down there. There we go. It's lovely. It really does look yellow though, this piece. Could it be? Well, I'm going to take that along and let Nicole see that because I'm pretty sure that's neither green nor brown, but a very cute yellow colour, we shall see. Fact 1. Back in the 1780s, Thomas Minton was the very first person to ever engrave a copper plate with a blue willow pattern. The very first design for the blue willow pattern was engraved onto copper plates for transfer wear in the 1780s and is still being made today. Blue Willow is often cited as one of the first transferware prints and if you want to know more about transfer process, check the link in the description. I found a piece of glass and I kicked it and now I've lost it. Let's see if we can find it together. Down here somewhere, right? Yeah, it's a longish piece of green. Green? Yeah. I can see there's a small piece of green but that's not it. <laughs> Oh, I see a piece of green. Okay. Can you see it? No. I don't think it's a piece you were looking for. Oh. <laughs> just there. That's see tiny. It? That's minuscule, isn't it? Yeah, I know that. There's that's another piece just like it over there. And I think this is a contender for the smallest wishing stone in Scotland. Oh. You see that? No. It's really lovely. It's a tiny wee dinky one. Oh, that's and it really is as cute. well. Oh, I'm taking that one. Yeah, let's have that. Yeah, that's I've got cute. to take a wishing stone. Okay, now that piece of green glass. Mm. No, I oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it too. Ah, we found it again. Fact number two. Although the blue willow pattern was inspired by a hand-painted Chinese design that had been imported into this country since the 1600s, there's a marked difference between the type of blue willow pattern that we see on the British-made pottery and the Chinese pottery. And that's because the British pottery really reflects a long tradition of landscape painting in the country. You know, it's a day of uh, seeing pieces of glass and then losing them. <laughs> can't blame the sun forever. No. Now there is a piece of glass in here. Yeah. It's a green piece and it's actually I think uh, quite a nice piece. 
I can see it now. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can you not? No. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can see it now. There we go. <laughs> It's a really lovely shade of green. It is, isn't it? Yeah, really nice. Very it soft is. pastel shades. Mm. It's, it's pastel green. Is that one of the things that you contributed to that chart? <laughs> no? Oh no, I think it was a couple of milk glass shades and uh, some other bits I can't remember. <laughs> that is a really nice piece. It is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, super smooth. Okay, let's have that then. Yeah. Still no pottery? No, no, where is it? Oh, there's oh. a nice wee amber piece. Plastic. I found a wee pair, oh. a wee pair of pieces here. There's a few nice wee pieces here, and if we were really on the search for tiny, tiny sea glass, I think this would be the place to come. <laughs> uh, it's not all tiny. I mean, that's that's hardly tiny, uh, but it's it's hardly huge either. Yeah, yeah, it's small. It's small. Perfect size for. I'll say it again. I've said it before. Perfect size for an evening. Yeah, <laughs> and that's what it may well become. Yeah, possibly. Oh, do you know what? The sun's out just now. Oh, you should take a shot of that. I'm just going <laughs> to film that here just now. In fact, what I'm going to film before that, yeah, just let this up. <laughs> and Nicole and I spotted this both at the same time, pretty much, I think. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to point it because uh -huh. it's vanished in amongst the eye gates and such. Yeah, yeah. Searching for the tiniest sea glass. That should have been the topic of the film. <laughs> okay. Let's have that wee bit. Mm -hmm. And whilst we're at it, let's have that wee bit of green there as well. Alright. And that bit of white behind you. Oops. Behind me? Yeah. I don't think I can film that. Oh no, no, that's that's contortionism. <laughs> Hang on, let's see. Alright, I'm on top of it now. The camera is really shaking today. <laughs> it's, okay. Okay, let's have that too. Right now, where is that elusive pottery? Hmm. Fact 3, at least 400 potteries worldwide have made the blue willow pattern, maybe even as many as 500. So there's another wee trail of sun illuminated glass here. <laughs> Some of it's really beautiful actually, I mean it's really crystalline coloured this piece. Yeah, yeah, and when it gets dry it'll have that lovely frosted appearance that, that I love nice. so much. Yeah. That's really nice as well. Mm-hmm. Can pop that so, one down by there. Alright, yeah. Shall we see what else is around and I'll pile it up? There's quite a few bits here, yeah. yeah. Okay, so if you can make a pile, bit. make a pile. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's not that many now, now that I'm here. <laughs> no, I don't think I can make a pile. It's only those three pieces. Okay, so a pile ah. now constitutes three, okay, four pieces. <laughs> That's actually quite a nice few bit as well, isn't oh, it? Oh, there's one more. Five. Okay, five. five. We're starting to sound like that scene out of... Uh, <laughs> the jerk again. Just three pieces. No, four pieces. No, five pieces. Oh. It's got to be a six piece somewhere. Uh, yeah. Nicole's just found it. Found it. It's here. Okay. I think I've seen and do you know what? No? There's a really nice brown piece just there as well. And I an know brown. I hear what you're saying. Uh -huh. And look at that. Yeah. Oh, the tiniest little tear. Just the tiny tears. <laughs> tiny Anybody tears. remember tiny tears? That was a dolly. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> It was a wee doll in the UK. Okay, let's have these wee bits. Okay. Oh. They're so tiny. They really are. Cute. Yeah, the cutest sea glass. Now, when we first got here, the first thing that I noticed it wasn't sea glass and it wasn't the pottery that we're looking for. It was the kind of crystalline stones, the agates and uh, things like that. And this one is really, really beautiful. I'm just going to pop it up there. Hopefully that will catch the light a little bit better. If I can find it again. Where's it going? There we go. Hey, can we see that a bit better? I hope that's in focus. Really gorgeous wee thing. Fact 4. One thing that all 500 designs have in common. Every version of the blue willow pattern features a pagoda, three figures on a bridge, one figure on a boat, two flying birds, 
a weeping willow and a fence. One of the really weird things, or frustrating things even, about this uh, uh, the beach today is that the sun is dipping and out behind clouds. Every time it dips out, it shines a wee light on beauties like this and this, and then it ducks away and you can't see them again. So I'm going to pick them up, pop them down there, so you can have a wee look at them. Well, the sun is setting and it's about time I told you fact five. It's the last fact of the day and it is blue willow pattern wasn't just made in blue. It was also made in pink, red, brown <laughs> and multicolored. It's not the blue willow though. Well, you know, it's not at all anything remotely blue willow about this piece. No. There's not even a wee hint of a design on it. But, you know, I'm going to take the time to give it a wee bit of respect and film it because <laughs> it's the only piece of pottery we've found today. Yeah, yeah. So what do you reckon? Well, it's super smooth. But uh, yeah, it's not blue willow. <laughs> Shall we get heading back to the car? Yeah, maybe we find something then. Come on now. Do you know, I think that's another piece of pottery. Typical that we'd have to wait until the sun is almost set on the beach here before we start finding pottery. But, you know, it's quite a nice wee gem. Let me get my glove off and we'll go and pick that up. There's another lovely wee piece of sea glass just alongside it, just there. The wee jelly bean piece. I have to take them. They're only wee, but they're very pretty. Now there's another wee piece. Just clear sea glass here. But I see something quite nice just off to the side of that. It's blue. At least I think it's blue. It looks kind of teal. Uh, <laughs> which uh, I think means it was green originally. What's that piece here? It might actually be blue. That's blue. That's very cool. Take that along, show it to Nicole, and then we'll get off to the car. I found a bit of blue. You did? Yeah, and a yellow bit. All right, okay. So there we go. And there's also <laughs> a wee tiny bit of pottery in there. I've really saved these up to the end of the day. Oh. Uh, so we'll have a wee look at them now. Okay. And you can tell me, you know, how, how special that blue bit is, right? Uh huh. That, that, that blue bit. That's blue. Look at it. Oh, it's so blue. Oh, okay. oh, is it, it's not. It, it's in focus now. There we go. This oh, no, it's out of focus. Great, come on. Get there. <laughs> there we go. Where, where's in the focus. blue bit? The blue bit. See, it's blue. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's, it's blue green, I guess. It's you know, uh, in this light, teal. It, in this light, it could be blue. <laughs> yeah. But what about that wee yellow bit then? Okay, so Nicole's ah. casting some shade on this, like a wee bit of doubt there <laughs> as to whether or not we might call, call that blue. 
Yeah. Okay, sifu mo mm-hmm. na. To you. <laughs> Maybe green then. Yeah. Oh, there you focus. What's it? Wait, but there's that wee yellow bit. Now yeah. what do you make of that? That's quite cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That does look like yellow. It's not. I, I don't think it's a shade of brown. It's uh, it's too light for that. So that's really <laughs> nice. How dare you call it brown? How <laughs> dare you cast dispersions on this piece? It's, uh-huh. it's nice and yellow, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a nice kind of sunshine yellow. So that's really nice. Uh, th- that blue bit is, is is a bit awkward though. <laughs> okay, but besides for the blue bit, yeah. we've got another wee bit of pottery there yeah, as well. Yeah, uh-huh. I found a tiny piece of pottery also, okay, uh, also cool. plain. Yeah, so some yeah. pottery, some maybe pottery. not blue willow, no. but hey-ho. Mm-hmm. Well, so I've just found this, uh, and I had hoped that it might be a button, but I think it's probably plastic, but uh, it's really difficult to see. It really is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, we'll get that one back, mm. and I'll, I'll widen the shot here a wee bit, so <laughs> you'll probably see some details off to the bottom left of the screen there, Yeah. and we'll tell you what that is. Um, <laughs> or if you don't see anything, and mm-hmm. you just see this close-up again, it's plastic. <laughs> yeah. Well, there we are. Walking off the beach towards the car, and you know how it is. We often make our best finds uh, at these times. <laughs> um, and there it is, look at that! How Ooh. cool is that? Oh. There's lots of wee beads in there. Little there's beads. lots of wee lures, yeah, there's yeah. wee lures, tiny lures. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They'd be yellow lures. You know, you could probably <laughs> do something quite cool with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's only us who's, <laughs> who's happy to find this. But yeah, uh, the fish are gonna thank us and the birds are also going to thank us so we'll take that off the beach and we'll make something nice with it yeah that's quite cool yeah well do you know what i think i can oh. hear the motor of a fishing vessel that's really cool yeah cool it's really <laughs> cute as well <laughs> little fish little fish there's about three or four of them in this as well that's yeah. a real <laughs> a shoal of fish. A shoal of fish, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say that's a real star find. Star find. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, yeah. let's get this into the car then. Yeah. Well, the sun's starting to set on our broth now, but next time we're going to make sure that we get out to lots of new places so you get a chance to see the Scots coast. For today, though, it only remains for me to say thank you so much for watching, liking and commenting on the videos. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do take a second to subscribe. It really does help us. Also, a massive, massive thank you to everybody who's helped support this channel through Etsy and Kofi. That really does keep the lights on. It puts a wee bit of diesel in the car and it helps us get to beautiful locations that we can share with you on Scottish Mudlarkin. We'll see you next time.